On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make some really fun cakes using, of all things, stencils that are made for rubber stamping. Okay, for today's project, it's going to be really fun because we're going to make this really fun sucker cake. But I used a six inch cake pan. Okay, don't worry, it's not from the oven, it's already cooled. So once it's cooled, you're going to remove it out of your cake pan. And what I find is sometimes they're domed a little too much. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and I'm going to use a serrated edge knife and I'm just going to try to level it off so it sits nice on the um on your on your base you know and then you could eat the scraps as you go on and we'll have the fun part okay there we go all right that should do it so then i'm going to turn it upside down on top of a baking rack now this is a really great t uh, tip i'm going to show you is how to melt the frosting right in the can in the microwave and then pour it over the top of your cake so you get this really nice smooth coating. Okay, now this is a little tip. I've just kind of like experimented with it and it works. So when you buy the can frosting, of course it's in a plastic container, not a, really in a can. You're gonna put it in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds. Take it out, stir it. Put it back in the microwave. You have to be really careful. It depends on the heat of your microwave. Anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds more and go back and stir it. And you're gonna see what you want. See how like, there we go, see how that is? You want it very pourable. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna pour it right over the top of the cake mix. Now mind you, I did put a piece of parchment paper underneath this a cake rack. You can, you, wax paper, I, I highly recommend you put something. And as you can see, oh, I bet it's pouring really nice along the edges there for you. And I just slowly go around it. Okay. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, it's always so exciting. And if you wanna make sure if you didn't miss any spots, I just take a little spatula and I'll go around the edge like that. But this one tends to be falling really nice. And if the cake is starting to show a little bit like this is now, just let it set up for a minute and then go back and pour another coating over. So that's how you get this nice smooth look to your cake. You are going to need to let the frosting set up before you do the next step. And that can be depending on the weather anywhere from a half an hour to an hour till it's set up so you can do the stenciling that we're going to do. Now I want to just talk to you for a minute about these stencils. When Judy was showing me these stencils, I was just thinking, oh, these are really cool. Well, she's a great stamper and she does fabulous artwork. But my idea started going a different direction and that's why we're doing it on a cake. So when I saw this pinwheel, I thought, oh, remember those suckers? You get those big woods this, with the wood stick on them. So I thought this would be really fun. This is great for a, any kind of a shower or a children's party. Now it is plastic. And so you do want to wash it off before you use it and then just paper towel dry it. So I'm just going to lay it on top of the cake just like that and you can see that's this really works great for a six inch and i'm just going to smooth this down so it sticks down just a little bit more so once you've done that then what you're going to do is you're going to take your sprinkles let's use a bright color so you can see it better now i was just starting to shake it and then i'm like okay that's not going to work so i found by putting it shaking the sugar right into a spoon just like that then you can just put it, I'm gonna show you right on this one here. I put right along the edge here. And then I just, with my finger, I just start tapping the sugar right into the frosting. Just like that. And then you're just gonna keep going. You're gonna keep adding more and you're gonna do the same thing. And then you're, as you go along, you're gonna change the colors. Now you do need to be careful, but if you're using your finger, you can just brush those right in. But if you have a little paintbrush, you could use that to put them in. Now you wanna make sure that this one's almost set up a little too much. You still want the frosting just a little bit tacky. So now let's take a look at the finished one. In a minute, I'm gonna show you actually how to make your very own homemade board because it's kind of an odd size. You're not gonna have a cake plate this size. 
So this is what it looks like when it's done. And you have to be careful if it's a little tacky and you know, the frosting may pull up a little, but you know, whatever you made it at home, it's beautiful. And I just rotated just right out of the um, sugar following the colors of the sugar. And this looks, doesn't it look great? Just like one of those big lollipops. I can't wait to take a bite. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make the board. Oh, and after you, obviously after we get the board made, you're gonna put the cake on top and you take a wooden dowel and you just shove it right into the cake and then tie a bow at the top. So let's see how to make our own cake board next. I think you're really gonna like this little cake board tip. I cut a piece of foam board for the sucker. It's around seven and a half by 15 and a half long. So once you cut your foam board, then you're gonna take spray adhesive and you're gonna spray it. Now, of course, you have to do this part outside. So I always just step outside, I spray it and I bring it back in the house. Then I pull a piece of aluminum foil off and I lay it down. Now, you only have one try with aluminum foil, so if you get some wrinkles, oh well, the cake will hide most of it. So as you can see, I smoothed it out right on top. So now this is not gonna shift. So when you put your cake on, it's like a, a nice coating on top. Then I turn the whole thing over. I fold the ends in. Now there's no glue on the aluminum foil on the back side, so I just use packing tape to attach it so it won't shift around. And that is your board to make your cake on. I'm gonna share a couple more ideas with you. Of course, this is absolutely my favorite, but there's a whole bunch of other stencils. This one is called a camellia flower. And you can see this is a little chocolate heart. It's actually a little cake pan I had. And I just used the little um, candy beads on top of it and then just lifted this up. And I did use a brush to brush away the beads. It's a little messy, but you know, it's fun, it's crafty. And then on this chocolate cake, I just used powdered sugar with the flower flourish. And look how fun this one is. Powdered sugar, put it in just your colander, tap it a little bit. Now, what I did do is the stencil hangs over and you can still see a little bit of the cake. So I just cut a little bit of parchment paper and tucked it underneath on all four sides so I didn't have a little square of powdered sugar around the outside edge. So this was really fun too. I hope you enjoyed using these stencils as much as I did. And you know what we say? When creativity knocks, open the door.